Let's do some pretend. Pretend what? What's it? What's the most dangerous outlaw that you've ever encountered, had to a shootout with, or dealt with? Okay, encountered Summers. Uh, just, just one person. Okay, had a shootout with uh, those bleeding red hood e Egypts. Like I said, like I said, it doesn't uh -huh. need to have a whole game, it's just one individual. Okay. Uh, just, just pick. You can pick the red hood, you can pick Summers Gang, just. Summers Gang. Just Summers Gang, got it, okay. Just imagine you have five deputies around. It don't matter. Okay. I think I think we did this. I don't know if you were around for this, but I think we did this. And I, and I came to a realization about something. Summer's gang is standing way over there. Let's say by those rocks right there. Uh, those ones right there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Having a standoff right there. Shit location, right? Fucking garbage location. Uh, for, us. Yeah. for both us and them. But. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, they got way more cover than we do, mm -hmm. right? They got those rocks. Right. We now, that one. Exactly. But you see, they have those rocks right there, right? Aye. Hmm. Here's the thing. If you go around behind them, they don't Dumber. have them. No, 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 no. That's, that's not it at all. If we are, let's say, in a conversation with Mr. Summers, who obviously mm -hmm. likes to hear the, the sound of his own voice, like most people, hell, Jack Kettleman also loves to hear the sound of his own voice quite a bit. And we're standing like this, let's say uh, a sheriff with a silk, silk, silky smooth, uh, soundable voice who can keep him talking. So, Sheriff Cash. Mm, let's say. Oh, I would love that, actually. That, that's so good. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's say he's... You know, seducing them with his uh, way of pronouncing things like "all right" and "sure." <laughs> Our job is not to listen in; it's not to look at him; it's to assess what the fuck we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. so we're dealing with a bunch of motherfucking dead-eye shooters who have no problem with shooting us, know how to fight, and are well coordinated. Perfect. They got more cover than us. If they push back, they got more cover than us. But if they push forward, they lose every type of cover they have. So, we got that rock. Aye. Bushes also fucking work, believe it or not. Aye, because you can't be seen. Pretty much, exactly. Well, every time I've been in a standoff, there's been several times I'm in very bad positions. Mm -hmm. I try and either stand on the other side of my horse, or I get into some sort of cover, if I can. Yeah, you also know what's a good way of covering? Depressive fire. Just shooting in their direction or shooting I, at them. No, I've, I've yeah. done that in plenty of gunfights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, if, now, I'm, if I can't hit them, I can at least keep their heads down. Beautiful. Okay, so you got that set already. Perfect. The other thing is we can't push back. So if no. we have a stand up here, that's it. Let's see. Can, can we even jump out of here? No. No, we can't. We'd be dead. Actually, maybe I could write down this way. Oh, I, I, I mean, Saffron, I, I wouldn't I'm, want I'm, to. I'm definitely counting on them immediately coming here and starting bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I'm definitely, you know. I'm just, hope, I'm just. Ex, hope for the best, expect the worst kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, two things might happen. One, which is a smart thing, they could take this fight. They shoot us because they got a better position than we do. We could also take this fight. It would go up against us. But if they retreat up there... That doesn't mean they, oh, they, they got the high ground. They got, they're, 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 they're done. They, we, we can't fight them. They got the high ground. No, they actually they are stuck up there. And we can surround them. We can take cover behind rocks. High ground means nothing. It's because everything I heard every time I talk about standards or stuff, it's, oh, they got a better position. Oh, they got a better high ground. Oh, they can see everything. The only one that actually is real is when they can see everybody. If you're if you if you know you've chased six people and you only see four, start looking for the other two. Don't oh, just I... look at don't just look at the bastard talking. No, when we had that <laughs> no, here's what happened that last time we we dealt with those hoods. Mm. Um McGregor was talking to him. It was you know uh you know that broken up church and um Bulger's Glade? Bulger's Glade. Yes, I do actually. So yeah. we were in there, we approached it from the tree side because we saw their their horses back there and they were up in the in the second level of it 
-hmm. and the moon was behind them and it was foggy so we had this moonlight shining in our eyes and McGregor stayed right there in that bowl down below the church mm. and the trees where all these bushes around us and as he's speaking the fog's rolling in and I see two of them coming running away running around from our right and and creeping along the back and I keep going there's people flanking us there's people creeping up on us and no one's listening to me I can hardly tell whether it was us or them until I got somewhat close and started screaming come here and trying to take me hostage and I got away can you, from there can you give me names uh their names oh, mm. I don't know which two names or those were they just go by stupid numbers uh it was no, probably no, 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 no. When... The, 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 dep the deputies uh McGregor uh, the, the, the ones that didn't listen to you, yeah. Mc oh, no one really listened to me. Uh, uh, just give me names. Uh, Willard was there, McGregor was there, uh, yeah. I think Ivy was there. I hmm. can't I can't even remember everyone else who was there. Yeah. Uh, Willard, Willard yeah. uh, everyone got got jumped and dragged down in the bushes and they, Willard uh, they, managed they, they didn't to... see them, they didn't seem and then see them getting out of the bushes. I mean, as soon as shooting started, they started the shooting. Um, okay. Before we were able to move to a better position. But again, McGregor, we kept trying to get him to move and he wouldn't eat. Right. I'm a bit frustrated about that one, <laughs> if you can't tell. I mean, uh, uh, hell, uh, fucking Carter not too long ago died very close to here because he was standing and he knew, he knew. But, uh, Positioning was also not good. Some of us were undercover, but he wasn't. Uh, but he needed to talk. It needs to be seen. It's a it's a sad position, sheriffs. Aye, but it, he he could have at least had us move somewhere. We were. I don't know. It was frustrating. We're all we're all independent. I, I know that there's a lot of things of you need to listen to this. You need to listen. We're not. We're Aye, but it, it's problematic when you can't hear what's going on and there's attempted negotiations going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Especially when it's dark and you can't see who's who. <laughs> dark and foggy. I actually never had the problem. I've been shown the fucking ass and back a lot, but I've never, I've never done it. I mean, I've the only person I've ever accidentally shot at was uh, Snow, mm. <laughs> and it was because I was being shot at by someone wearing his same clothes and on a on a grey horse. And yeah. they shot at me, charged me, and then I turned around and he was standing there charging me too. So I, I fired at him. I think I hit his horse a few times, but I realized it was him and stopped firing. Right. So I'd right. call that pretty decent considering <laughs> the situation's up in it. Uh, were you expecting a fight when you went with the, against the Red Hoods? Uh, if we find the Red Hoods, aye. Mm. You were expecting a fight? I mean, if we find the Red Hoods, aye. If we actually find them. Okay. Did you assign the... Did you assign bodies or partners? Uh, I know we had at one point. I can't remember who we had at that mm. point. McGregor wanted to be in that. I, I don't know. McGregor's quick and bold, isn't he? McGregor just kind of gets involved in everything, is what it is. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he's, uh, he's dedicated. Not a bad thing, not a good thing. Just yeah. a thing. Um. But you, you get what I mean about this whole thing about not... Okay. Here's the thing. Everyone that comes to the department that tells me they're a great shot, I always ask that question, okay, you're a great shot. Are you a good gunfighter? And they go, yes. Every time. All right, well, never, I've never, never said, said those things. <laughs> you've never said that, but everyone, I, because I don't think I asked you. Uh... Fuck, on your, the day you became a fucking deputy, you got shot. I knew. I was there. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I, I knew. Yeah, I don't expect you to be a good gunfighter. I don't expect anyone, even if you tell me you're a good gunfighter, I, I don't expect you to be a good gunfighter. Uh, because I'm getting off track here. Uh, that, that, that's not what I want to say. Um, what I want to say is there's a lot of just miscommunication mistrust and just downright not how, how do you say lack of confidence i guess who in me no in everybody everybody just does it in everybody 
we, we didn't have good people. These people are too green. This, this no. and that. I mean, I don't think that's the case. I mean, when we went up against the Summers Gang, most of the deputies there were green. Mm. Uh, I mean, we had we had Shepard. He is experienced. Uh, Wade is a good shot, but he didn't know how to work in a team. He tried to carry the fight on his own and he got shot down in the middle of everything. Because mm. he stood out in the open. Yeah. Uh... I used the fact that I had companions to my advantage and when I needed to get behind a rock and really bandage myself and reload my guns, I take that moment to do it and I take my time with my shots. Let's go. When I wasn't laying down suppressive fire. Hmm. Yeah, then Yeah, that's I met Kettleman. For for uh. for that with a Catalan, because we had Thorn. And uh, Boyd, Maple, Maple. Shepherd, myself. And yeah, I used to work with Shepherd long ago. I he said he's an old timer. He is. A, he is very old timer. He's old. I mean, I think it was a deputy when you were trying to be a deputy. <coughs> uh, probably. Back when, he, back when you used to work in Valentine. I think he mentioned remembering me from then. Yeah. Who's rains in this stupid desert? Mm. Do you feel like you're appreciated? <laughs> no. Do you feel like people trust you? I really could he tell. Maybe some. Mm. Maybe some. Okay. Why do you think it? Why, why? Why do you think that is? I I don't know. I mean, I feel like. No, sorry. Let me rephrase that. You feel, do you feel it's a lack of something, or or, or let's say a inability or something like that? I don't. Are you know. not doing something? Are you doing something poorly? What What do you feel? <laughs> well, what I've I've done is I've asked the sheriffs. I said, if yeah. you've got any criticism for me, I'd like to know it. You know, feedback so I can continue to improve myself and each time they bring up uh, you're always riding alone and stuff and they bring up incidents where I wasn't riding alone I had literally just woken up and trouble happened or I was off duty and then something happened and so I contacted the law about it and went on duty and waited for a backup yeah. and it's just very frustrating because it's not something that is enough for them to officially inquire about it so they never actually come to me about it. So they never actually get my side. So they're just talking behind my back about their opinions on something that they don't actually know about. I know. So it'd be better if it was something where they wanted to come reprimand me because then I could actually defend myself. Because someone would actually ask me my side, but they don't bother. Mm. At least that's what I feel. Because... I get told by Cash, you know, just keep doing what you're doing, you're doing really well. And I asked, Wright mentioned something, he said it's nothing about the going out alone. And it sounded like it was something else that he didn't agree with, but he didn't need to bring it up. So I, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm just not popular enough. I think that there's people who maybe don't like me for some reason and... If that's how you think, then that's a. You could be right. I think it's the wrong way of thinking. Because when you start thinking like that, you start bringing yourself down more and more and more. Well, it's really hard not to be down about it. I know. You want to get promoted, you want to do more. That's good. Um, the way I see it, you're not doing anything more or less than what's expected of you. And if you're doing more, then the people who notice that will see it. Well, I'm trying to do more, but I don't think that they bother to know us. Hmm. You ever... I love someone now, right? No. Uh... Do you know how the hounds started? Oh, I'm assuming it was an idea. That probably Wright or someone else had? Nope. Was that just a group and they decided to give themselves a name? 
No. If I remember correctly, someone had an idea of one day of making a group that would stick together through the worst scenarios you could imagine. Not 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 exactly hunting the most dangerous people. Mm. Just people who could hold on to the just the worst of the worst and so on. So, but here's the fun thing. He just so happened to pick the best shooters in the department at the time. Or consider the best shooters. You know, how people say whatever. But first, as a joke, there was a small group of people called the DBU. Do you know what that meant? Uh, I believe it was Dumb Violent Unit. The Dumb and Violent Unit. It was me, Hughes, Sharp, I believe, and uh, uh, who else? There are only four. Uh, it was, I forget. But that doesn't matter. It, what matters is me, Sharp, and Hughes always stuck together. Um, to thick and thin, we always were together. It didn't matter if we were fighting or just drinking or just pushing each other off the horse. We were just shooting the shade. We were always together. Then Hughes retired. Sharp go comes and goes depending on his gambling problem. Wright and me knew each other for a long, long time. He came back. We became friends again. You know, Pavis... Uh, then the house got brought back. Right was put, put in charge of it, and he brought the original, pe most of the original people back, and had some few more. It. A lot of people say that, that there's, you know, that there's a grouping, a clubbing, or some. I don't know what word they decide about the hounds and other groups. Probably click is what they would say. That click, yeah. It's, I would say it is because most of us there are friends because we give each other shit. If we have a problem with each other, we come up to each other and say it right off the bat. I punch Babish, he punches me, Bride, we throw each other. It's always like that. Um, but it, when, when there's a moment where one of us is going to get seriously injured, or one of us gets seriously injured, one of us shoots, we got each other's backs every fucking time. Doesn't matter if we're wearing a uniform or not. Doesn't change. If there were the house were dissolved tomorrow, nothing would fucking change. We would still go out there hunting the worst of the worst, doing the same shit we do every day. Right. And then people, then people say, "Oh, but you're why, why can't I get into the house? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that?" It doesn't fucking matter. No, I I'm, I don't bother because I don't want to go where I'm not wanted. That's not that. That's not. You're missing my point. I'm using the house because the house is the best example of people saying something about you being part of something. You are a part of something. You're part of the Saints Grand Sheriff's Department. That's it. If people don't trust you, that's on them. If people do stuff, that's on them. Find people that do. Stick with the people that do. Trust you. I don't really stick get the them. opportunity to necessarily stick with people all the time. I'm usually bumped out of whatever's going on. So, uh... <laughs> well, next time that I'm there and you want to go in, I'll, I'll switch with you. But just just stick with the people that you feel want you in. Because what's going to happen is you're going to feel isolated and you're going to be sad. The only people that I, I work with most days are green deputies. <laughs> I'm alone with a bunch of green deputies. Most nights. Not that well, I have anything against them, but... Well, you're, you're senior. Call out their shit. I work with them. They, they treat me like I'm a senior. But no. it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything with them or it doesn't change anything with higher-ups? With higher-ups. They don't worry see too much. don't care. I think you're worried too much what the higher-ups think. Well, I should worry if I would ever get... <laughs> if I ever went and get promoted. I should worry a wee bit. Hmm. You got... If 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 you're 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 gonna get promoted, 
Okay, you're gonna get promoted. It was an easy thing to see. It, it is an easy thing to say. It is a very easy thing to say, but I just don't expect anyone to get promoted before you. Because you put in work, you've written reports, you've written out against the worst of the worst, you've gotten shot, you bled, you've trained fucking deputies. Hell, Pavis, it took her forever to become senior deputy. Stone is not even a senior deputy. He's one of the people I think be. deserves he the position more. Exactly. Deputy. Buckwith should probably be a senior deputy. Maybe Winters. Hmm. Somewhere. There's there's some of us that will just never be. I don't care. I'm, I'm an exception. But some of us will never be senior deputies. No, I, I know. And I, I, and I know that's a sad thing, but that's, well, that's just how it is. There's plenty of people who don't want it, which is fine. I didn't even want it at the beginning. My first month as deputy is approached by two sheriffs, or two seniors, and they're like, so would you, what do you think about being senior deputy? And I said, well, I will definitely step into any position given to me and do my very best at it, but I don't think that I'm ready, given that I've only been a deputy for a month. And that was that. It's been four months since. Four months. So it doesn't kind of, it's just really easy to get yeah. discouraged. I know it is. It's really easy to feel uh, like uh, you aren't wanted and you aren't seen. That's that's how we lost well, especially when you and... especially when you get kidnapped by a group and they all ride in a town and not a single person asks you whether or not you're okay. And they just ride out and they leave you behind. You ever? No, you, you never met him. Or maybe you have. You ever met Logan? Did you ever meet Logan? Bordeaux, not Logan Monroe. Bordeaux. No, what? I, I don't think so. Uh, Logan was an old, old deputy marshal. Fuck oh, Man, you could hear him scream from the next time over sometimes when you <laughs> rode. You rode too fast. Your horse would go, slow down! Like, like crazy. <laughs> you could hear it. Hear the shit out of you. But. He was like a grandpa almost. I mean, he would kill me if he, he ever heard me say this, but he was like grandfather. He would try to stick everybody together, try to teach everybody. He would reprimand you and all that. But one time I heard him in a sheriff's station. He said, when he when you did the he did the oath, you're not just joining a department. You're entering a brotherhood. And when I became a deputy and you know, Sheriff Nelson, one of the oldest sheriffs, told, uh, she, she treated me very, she was my sheriff. She will always be my sheriff. If you tell me that you are my sheriff, no, I'm, my, my sheriff died a long time ago. And, um, you know, I remember her training me. A lot of times it was just me and her in the mornings. I follow her when I was a cadet. It took me fucking forever to become a goddamn deputy, but when she gave me the badge and I was ready to go and everything, I was I did feel that. I was part of a brotherhood. These these were my brothers. I would bleed with them. Carter, we did cadet training together. He was my my, my friend. This, this is the guy I would take a bullet with, going to shoot out with, make make sure he would always make it out alive. You know, O'Malley when he got his badge and he was with us as well. He would always shoot the shit. As I become older and older and new people wrote in, I just see that going just group there, group there, group there, and a group there. A fight there, a disagreement there, a blame over there. It's no longer a no longer what Logan used to say. Well I think that the department's a lot bigger than it used to be. So Oh wow, that's two wolves right there. Are you serious? That's coyotes, Saffron. Oh, I thought, for some reason, they looked really large. Like, wow, right in the middle of the day. They're being well fed. I suppose so. Mm. Mm. Yeah, a lot. Oh, I'm saying is a lot has changed. And you're not. Just hang in there. 
It's, uh... Because I don't think you're gonna do the same thing that uh, O'Neill and no, I'm you know, not. I'm right? definitely not gonna do that. I know you're. I, not I know you're not. That. I know you're not. But part of me worries. You think that I'm just when, gonna throw down my badge? Well, well, when I saw Void and 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 Dust get the corner of something because uh, fucking Rip, Rip had yelled at, at Dusk saying, "Get the fuck out of town." To understand, you know, it's you shouldn't sit. You should, more professional than that, but I don't know. I don't. I don't know what'll make people quit nowadays. <sighs> I'm just worried that everybody just feels underappreciated, or that no one trusts them, or that they're doing a bad job. Because that's the thing that O'Neill and Wesley told me was the, was why they left. Well, it, it's always going to be in the back of my mind worrying me. They had a bunch of petty stuff going on. Right? Oh, believe me, I know especially they did. shields. I think. Believe me, he Just told me about the trash. petty stuff too. <laughs> I, hate, I, I really dislike that person. See that? I know, but I also remember when they weren't, and I also remember when they had my back, and I also remember when I, I had their their back. And yeah, but you know, you feel like someone like Shields. It was just making it up all along, just for whatever benefit him in the moment. He was faking it. O'Neill, I, I don't think that was the case, but I think that he just... You know that every single person who was made senior deputy right after he became a deputy is no longer senior deputy anymore. Oh, one, is, one is a sheriff and all the other three have thrown away their badges. Yeah, only Rabbit, right? Mm -hmm. Rabbit's a sheriff and O'Neill, Molly and Shields are no longer deputies. Who did they make senior uh, deputies after them? Oh, I believe it was Ripley and Pavis, mm. and I uh, can't even remember if there's anyone else. I know uh, that Kai got promoted to sheriff. No, Kai. No, Kai's senior deputy. Silas got promoted to sheriff. Rabbit got promoted to sheriff. Uh, Silas was a sheriff way before that. Silas? I think. Yeah, I think so. Mm, no, no, because he got. Sure. <laughs> uh huh. I'm sure because he became a sheriff the day that Boyd first showed up in the state and attacked Lewis. <laughs> Because he was so, because because Danny Kerrigan went to punch Silas and he was punching the sheriff. I remember that being something that was stated. I remember that. Yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah, you're completely right. And that was about you know three-ish months ago, I guess. So that would have been a month after his death or so. Hmm. I don't know. I just want to know how you think because I think you should get promoted. I it would hate to see you go. You're very good at your job. Um, it's just I, that I, I, you, I, you, I don't want to go. I've worked. I know. I know. Six you don't. years it's, to get to this place. It's everything that I've worked for. But, but now you're fighting way up, 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 almost vertical uphill battle. Is what you're feeling. I feel like I've got to watch my back from my own department as well as the criminals. That is a sad thing to hear. And I feel like, <laughs> even if I were to put down the badge, I'd just be dead then. Because there's not a lot of criminals that are too fun to me. Unfortunately, that is a thing that will happen if you do. Because the department has a, a slight thing, but it's to be expected as well to a degree. Where it, it kind of feels like we throw some people to the wolves. We don't, but it, we're not. You, you can't be around. We're talking about things. You can't do this. You can't do that because again, you're, you're no longer the department. Right. Most of the people who I had as friends before I became a deputy mm. either became criminals and left the state, or they're just mm. not around anymore. It's pretty much just cleaner, maybe lark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you remember, were you around when Miles, or what was the other one? Uh, or Carnes were cadets? Speaking of Miles, no, Miles was the one, he, he was a cadet when I was a cadet, and then he got his badge and never came back to work. No, he, well, yeah, that that's true, but, um, you know, he 
I mean, his, his past is kind of mech, so... I feel like he felt very but... underappreciated, and that no one took him seriously, mm. even when he was doing really good work. I don't really I mean, blame him for leaving. I, I, I used to be with him quite a bit, and he was... I mean... I used to tell him, Miles, I know I understand you, but please, use a Schofield. You can use your bomber rifle, I don't care, but please have this Schofield. Because <laughs> my thing with him was, I, I know I trust you, Miles. But the department ain't gonna see it that way. So just have the Schofield and the Barman rifle in case, but just have the Schofield. Mm -hmm. Barnes. Unfortunately for Carnes, he was a Pinkerton and the whole thing with Marty and But uh Well, I don't know anything about that. But I remember Miles, and then this is ain't just Miles, it's just Miles was the best example because I was there with him quite a bit. I remember there was another person, but I can't remember who it was. But this was a while ago before, uh, before even, I think I recently became a cadet. Oh, who was the other Pinkerton also that was trying to do fraud while he was a cadet? I have no idea. That's so weird. I don't know if he was doing that. But I, I remember... I, I'm getting this nagging feeling that we should probably check in before someone freaks out. Been down All right. For a while. Oh my god, we, we need to get that gun to Kavanaugh. Fuck. I forgot. Oh, wait. Don't, don't feel... Is, uh, disgruntled? Is that what I'm, the word I'm looking for? Unappreciated? Yeah, let's go with that. I mean, it's hard not to branch. Until I'm... Until, I can. Until you're a senior deputy. And, until I hear it other ways, because... I feel like in order to do that, you're gonna have to start poking. I'm not really sure what to do at this point. 